Hello and welcome to a day in my life as a graduate student at Parsons School of Design in New York City. I try to start off my day by making my bed, but this usually doesn't happen because I also have ADHD and that is just a part of the ADHD experience. But on this day, I had to head into the city to run the accountability workshop for Accepted Society, so I threw on some makeup, ate my lunch, and also managed to find some time to film a TikTok where I talk about something related to my graduate studies while I get dressed and I, I love it. I think it's so much fun. I really like how that how that turned out. I think I'm onto something here. I'll see you guys in Manhattan. Bye. I currently live about an hour away from where my school is, so every day I have to take a bus to the train station and then from there I take the train into the city. It's usually a pretty quiet ride. It can be really crowded on my way home. There's usually not any seating on my way home, but I get to walk out of the train station to this beautiful view. One of the things I do actually like about New York is how pretty the buildings are. It just gives off this romanticism that I absolutely love. Anyways, I headed to the study room to run the accountability workshop for Accepted Society, and while I run the workshop, I try to catch up on my readings for class. Sometimes all of the subject matters of my classes for a given week will magically line up and coincide in subject. So this week in most of my classes, we were talking about being black in fashion, black identity through fashion, and it was a very interesting read because we talked a little bit about W.E.B. Du Bois, who is also part of anthropology and I have an undergraduate degree in anthropology and so I learned a little bit about him in undergrad as well. It was just cool to see him coming up again in my graduate studies. Something you should know is that I am doing a research degree. I am not in a design or a practical degree program. So while I say that I go to fashion school, I'm really actually doing like a social sciences slash humanities degree and it is housed under the Parsons School of Design at the new school. So. I am technically going to a design school, just not for design. Anyways, after my class ended, I headed to the elevators, which take for freaking ever. They, I don't know what is wrong with this building, but the elevators will take a lifetime to arrive. So I ultimately ended up just deciding to take the emergency exit stairs and walk down seven flights of stairs. The elevator was taking too long, so I decided to take the stairs. I'm gonna take seven flights of stairs down. But hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I look greasy and I have pimples all over my face. But I'm a graduate student at Parsons School of Design and I am in the Fashion Studies Master's program and I study the sociocultural phenomenon of fashion. Today is Wednesday, October 20 something 25th 26th and i just had my only class of the day it's called fashion studies key concepts it is one of our required courses for this program for first year students i had some lunch with a friend as you can see here on the screen and i'm currently heading to go see if i can't find a couple of books that i need for some projects i'm going to go to barnes and noble first to see how much it costs to buy them new because i need to annotate them and if they are too expensive I'm gonna take myself to the NYU library and pick them up there just so I can get started until I can afford to buy the books. Welcome to this day in my life. Let's go look at some books. One of the interesting things about going to school in New York is that, I mean, I don't spend a ton of time in classes. I only have class a couple of days a week. So when I'm not working and when I'm not in class, I get to just kind of walk around and explore the city. And while it's actually pretty overwhelming for someone with ADHD, I still think that it's totally worth my while. It's something I've been trying to put a lot of effort into actually experiencing. This Barnes and Nobles is four floors if I'm correct. I don't always do the best job of it. However, I tend to kind of get stuck in the same area where my school is, like where my classrooms are, because it's what's comfortable and familiar to me. I mean, I haven't even made it to Brooklyn yet. So that being said, if you have any recommendations for places that you think I should see and visit in New York, please leave them in the comments down below. I really want to make sure that in the next semester, I really take advantage of that. I for sure don't need this, but boy, do I want it. A little known fact about me is that James has certainly turned me into a Star Wars fan and like the weird Star Wars fan that has favorite characters that aren't in the movies and I now love Star Wars books. My favorite one is about Ahsoka. Ooh, just a little fun fact. 
that Star Wars is not what we are here for. I need to focus. I am on a mission. I'm looking for a copy of The Dispossessed by Ursula K. Le Guin. That is the only thing I'm allowed to look for. Oh my god. Also a little known fact is that Jeff Vandermeer is one of my favorite sci-fi authors and look at this. I'd say that's an apt description, but this series, the Southern Reach trilogy, is just a masterpiece. It is a really, really good series. It's Annihilation, Authority, and Acceptance. If you like sci-fi, and I think it's technically classified as new weird, I would definitely recommend picking up Annihilation. There's also a movie, and if you're gonna watch the movie, I recommend watching the movie first and then reading the book, but it's like a weird Lovecraftian cosmological ecological horror, and it's just like chef's kiss. I, I really love that series. I recommend it to everyone and in fact I'm picking up Frankenstein because we're reading it for the book club for Accept a Society and I was trying to convince everyone to read Annihilation but through the democratic process we ended up with this. <laughs> I just really love that series. And this is the other book I was looking for by Ursula K. Le Guin and I'm thinking about writing about this for one of my term papers from one of my classes. But unfortunately, I am but a broke graduate student. I was gonna buy them if they're like five bucks each, but they're just a little bit more expensive than that. So I'm gonna go pick them up from the NYU library. Yesterday evening, I was walking past Washington Square Park on my way home from a walking tour that we did for class yesterday. And there's a giant ass snake just like slithering through the fence into the bushes. I'll put a picture up here, but like the things you see in New York sometimes. Okay, I managed to get my hands on Frankenstein. Now I need to decide, I should probably just go home. I should not get the dispossessed. I should just go home. And then it was time to head home and go to bed so I could get up the next day and do it all over again. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit subscribe. Leave me a comment with your New York City recommendations and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!